Hi, I'm Esther Boykin, CEO and founder here at Group Therapy Associates and Therapy is Not a Dirty Word. Every month I record a video and each month with our newsletter, we set out with a new theme. Um, it's one of my favorite parts of our sort of end of the year or year ahead planning is coming up with what will be the theme, what will we be focused on in each month. And April is meant to be a month of focusing on renewing, refreshing, um, sort of springing forward, if you will. And it's great to plan ahead. And yet here we are in the middle of a period of time and a set of circumstances that none of us could have predicted. And I really was struggling about how can we talk about renewing and refreshing and, and sort of um, the, the blossoming of our goals at a time when most of us are at home, um, anxious and worried about the uncertainties, not just about um, COVID-19 and, and, and the health impact of that, but what does that mean for families? What does that mean for our economy? What does that mean for our community? And it really got me thinking that, you know, one of the things we have to do in order to sort of renew our plans or move forward with goals is we have to find ways to let go of our desire for certainty and to also let go of what used to be the new normal. And I can't think of a, a theme or a message that resonates more clearly right now than one of grieving and finding ways to embrace what is in a very uncertain future. It's an interesting thing because we think that so often we believe we've got the plan. We know what's going to happen because we wrote it down in our journals or we put it on a vision board or we've, we've put the steps in motion to create things. Um, but this is a time where life is really reminding us that despite our best plans, there will always be curveballs. There will always be the unexpected and the unprecedented. And so in the middle of that, the question as a therapist, as a boss, as just a human being here in the world with you, the question that I'm left with and have been wrestling with is how do we take care of ourselves in uncertain times? And so the thing that has really come up again and again and again, and, and it's not really surprising given um, my motivation for starting this practice and for doing the work that I do, that the answer that keeps coming back is connection. Although we are physically distancing ourselves in an effort to slow the spread of the virus and to follow sort of the rules, we also need to be much more intentional and creative about the way that we connect with people of the way in which we can share our fears and our anxieties, but also to recognize that in the middle of all of this, there are still moments of joy and excitement and love and pleasure, and that we need to share those with people um, on a regular basis. And so here um, among my team as, as therapists, we will continue to share with you and to find ways to be creative and connecting with you. If you are not already aware, we are consistently offering teletherapy. We're still working with couples and families and kids, um, as well as, you know, obviously individual adults. We are here for you to support you in every way possible. So whether it's fear and anxiety about the way the world is changing right now and what's going to happen next, or simply continuing with the goals and the and the concerns that you had well before this um, this pandemic sort of hit our country and and changed what we most of us know to be our our normal way of living, we are here. We are available. We are accepting new clients. Um, we'd love to see have our old clients come back, whether it's for a one time session to check in or if you would like to get back into having regular weekly, bi weekly, or monthly support. We're available. We're also finding new and interesting ways to engage with um, you, our readers, our clients, um, and new people online. So if you're not already following us on Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram, please go follow us. Um, we're available. You can also follow me um, if you're interested in kind of outside of work, what else do I have going on? Uh, you can follow me. The links for all of that are below. So just go ahead and click on that and, and share us with the people that you care about, the people that you might have normally seen day to day that you, that you miss. We hope to be creating more and more opportunities to encourage you to find creative and new ways to stay connected, even as you're physically distancing. Um, and we would just want to remind you that we're here. We're here through all of this, that whatever you're feeling, whatever you're experiencing is normal and acceptable. And if you need a place to process that, be sure that you are consistently reaching out. This can be a challenging time and it can feel very easily start to feel like a lonely time. But 
um, I'm here, the team at Group Therapy Associates is here, your community around you, your family, your friends, your classmates, your coworkers, they are still out here and still available to you. So please reach out and, and let us know how you're staying connected and using this time to, to practice what it feels like to be in an uncertain time and still find certainty in your support circle and your social connections. Until next month.